We're not all broke, man. We just call it broke month baking. But Lizette Hartley is with me in the studio. Happy New Year. Thank you. Well, here we are. A beautiful... Why do you call it? Because it's French. It's called a pizza la deer. Can I call it something English? Like a... Onion tart. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're making an onion tart this morning and you can make this at home too. Well, with simple ingredients, what are we using for this onion tart? So we're going to make a basic yeast dough. Like so we make our own dough. We make our own dough, Lekker. so it's super cheap. And literally, it's flour, a bit of salt, some olive oil, an egg, yeast. Yeah and then just a little bit of water. Is it lukewarm water? Uh, lukewarm, yes. Okay. It just helps the, the yeast to activate a bit faster. And to, and to make that dough rise nicely. Yeah. Now, let me just take you through broke month baking. The reason we say that is because usually by the 7th of Jan, most of our money has dried up because we've spent it over the festive season. So this is one of those recipes that if you've got some leftover olives that uh, you know none of the family's eaten and the onions are there, all you need to do is to get some anchovies. You literally take a few ingredients and you whip up this amazing meal. Okay, so we mix that through. Mix it through, knead it for 10 minutes and right. let it rest, let it rise until it's double in size. You see, when it comes to dough, we always think it's complicated. So you just mix it all together and 10 minutes later you've got dough. My cat can make it. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> and then it's just some onion that you sweat down. It takes about 25 minutes until it's nice and caramelized. Some thyme, some salt and a little bit of garlic and some pepper. What did you do the onion in? Butter or oil? Um, a little bit of olive oil. Because okay. we're in Provence, so they do oil, not butter. Right, so they do oil. Well, okay. and I see, okay, so what do you do next? Okay, once the dough is rested, mm -hmm. you knock it down and then you line a tray with it. Okay, cool. So I've seen you've, you've lined your tray yes. and the dough's in there. And right. then all nice you do, I'm going to have you do this. You cover right. the dough with the onion. Okay, so I can see you didn't brown it completely. I mean, the, the, the finished product looks quite brown. Yeah. It's because it goes in the oven for a good 20 odd minutes. Oh, minutes. Okay. And then it's going to continue browning. And does it matter if it's still warm? Because I mean, I can feel your, your onion is still a little um, bit I warm. would let it cool down a little bit because okay. what's going to do, if it's super hot, it's just going to hit your dough and make your dough instantly start becoming kind of quite tacky. Okay, cool. So you wait till it cools down a bit. But this is television. We do everything fast here, hey? Fast, fast. Okay, what happens next? Okay, now we just cover it with some anchovies and um, a little bit of... Are you going to let me put olives. my hands in that anchovies? No, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our keyword for this morning while you're doing that is bake. Bake to 33728. Uh, 33728 is uh, our SMS line and it charges, well, 150. For 150, you get the recipe on your phone and you can click on it and you can recreate this at home. I see how you twist them to, to make them look a little bit prettier. Yes, and also a traditional pizza idea has a sort of a lattice pattern with the anchovies. So you go like that and like that and then you stub the olives in between. I think you can get creative and write people's names in there. Um, so you can. <laughs> <laughs> your name in an anchovy. No, this is beautiful. It smells good, it looks good, and I know it will taste taste good as well. So other than the thyme, you don't really have a, a lot of other herbs that goes in here because I mean, no. the onion and the anchovies and the, and the olives is quite tasty, you know, yeah. it's like bringing out a, a lot That's of That's traditional, you can of course get inventive and do pretty much what you want to if you just have your dough base and your onion base. I guess if you, you don't could like anchovy, leave it off. Or you can add cheese and make it like a pizza pie. You could, or you could replace the anchovies with some um, sweet peppers. No, don't replace the anchovies, they're delicious, they <laughs> smell so good. Bake to 33728 and you can make this at Home. Um, I see you That's put it, it in a baking tray with a with a slightly elevated. Yes. Is it, it because it swells out? Um, it swells out, but it's not really going to spread. It's just going to go up. It's not going to go out. Okay, so you can make it in anything. You can make it in anything, you, you really. It in anything okay. really. Well, while we are decorating our anchovies in the patterns that we want, this is how we got to this point. Mix together flour, yeast, salt, olive oil, egg, and water. Knead until smooth and elastic. Leave dough to rise until doubled. Fry onions until caramelized. Add garlic, thyme, salt and pepper. Knock dough down, then roll into a rectangle and place into a baking tray. Top with onions, anchovies and olives. Bake at 220 degrees until golden and crispy. For the full recipe, visit Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword BAKE to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMSs cost 1.50. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply.
Well, this is so much fun. You know what? I've been mocking in here. I said to Lizette, I'm going to do it like this and throw salt over my head. And then, you know what? The kids can do this because there's one more week left of holiday for most of them. So you can get them to do it. Bake to three, three, seven, two, eight, and you can recreate our onion tart or a. Here's what I do. That. Okay, bake to three, three, seven, two, eight. Hey, there's lots more happening on our field with breakfast show. It's not just broke month and month baking. Uh, Leanne, what's happening next?